our next speaker is going to address something that's incredibly important, another human right, and that is housing. We learned in this past year how crucial housing is. It's a human right. No bones about it. So to talk more about this, I want to introduce our next speaker from the National Alliance of HUD Tenants, Michael Kane. health assistance, emergency housing needs, emergency everything needs. Uh, so thank you for um, inviting me to speak today. Michael Kay, National Alliance of Hub Tenants. We're the National Tenant Union of Tenants and Government Subsidized Housing. And I'm going to start by saying this is an unprecedented crisis that we've never seen in our lifetimes, but it gives us a once in a lifetime, once in a lifetime moment if we can seize it, to turn around this country and finally fund the things that we need. The pandemic has exposed the fault lines of race, class, oppression, inequality like never before. Everybody can see it. And it's already shifted the debate in Washington. Despite the Republicans blocking everything, the Democrats have been able to get through $2 trillion in the emergency uh, re uh, the rescue plan that, among other things, cuts child poverty in half. Think about that. They just cut child poverty in half, along with billions, billions and billions of dollars for vaccines, for emergency rental assistance. That's just the start. It's a down payment. Another, uh, the Biden administration has now proposed $2 trillion in a jobs plan and another $2 trillion for a family's plan to build on that. And we need to get that passed, but it's just a beginning. It's just a beginning. But the fact that that's even on the table shows that the terrain of our struggle has shifted dramatically like never before. This happened after World War I uh, in Vienna. In Vienna, when they finally had elections in the middle of the Fort Riley, Kansas pandemic, just named the Spanish flu, there were billion, 50 million people died from that globally. And in Vienna, in the ashes of World War I, a socialist city council and mayor got elected. They taxed the rich. They passed full health care for all, child care for all, family leave for all, retirement for all and housing for all. They built 60,000 units of public housing in 10 and 15 years. They're beautiful. Unprecedented in a small city by taxing the rich. If they can do it, why can't we? Why can't we? So we need to, and today, a century later, Vienna has the highest quality of life of any city on the planet. Rents are one fourth what they are in Paris. There's no homelessness. We can have that here too. We can have that here too. So Biden has proposed four trillion more that's to make those that uh, cut in child poverty permanent, a permanent cut to child poverty, as well as massive construction, massive uh, investment in home care, in daycare, and other things that workers need to get back to the job. So that's on the table. Is it enough? No. It could be more. It could be ten uh, trillion as proposed by the Poor People's Campaign, by the Thrive Agenda, and others in Washington. So we're part of that movement. We're here today to tell Biden to build back, but build back better still. Build back better still. We need to push Congress to do even more. They're going to have to do it by reconciliation and getting rid of the filibuster. I don't care. But they need to do it, because this is our moment. We need to seize this moment and seize it now. Seize this moment. 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 Seize it now. Do I have another chance to talk about taxing the rich? Okay. So how are we going to pay for this? Well. Biden has proposed to tax the rich, the 1%, people making over 400000 a year. He's also proposed to 
get rid of some of the corporate tax loopholes and raise corporate taxes a little bit, not to the extent of the Trump cuts, but to raise them somewhat. Republicans are fighting that tooth and nail, of course. But we need to fight to get not just that, but more. Elizabeth Warren has proposed a wealth tax. A wealth tax that would tax the 100,000 billionaires. 100,000 billionaires at 3% of their wealth each year that would raise $3 trillion. $3 trillion just from that. I'm sorry. And why shouldn't they? In the last year, during the pandemic, 50 billionaires, 50, count them, made a windfall profit of $1.6 trillion. $1.6 trillion. That's more than, more, than half of, that's more than half of the country's wealth. More than half the country. 50 people. We should get that. That's our money. We should get it back. We should get it back. But one of those billionaires, Jeff Bezos, he pays nothing. But Amazon pays nothing. So I pay, you pay, why doesn't Bezos pay? 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 So let's fight harder to get the money for what we need from the people that have stolen it from us and invest it in what people really need. Thank you. Thank you, Michael.